Listen, we don't have time just to pet you all day. We'll get a dishwasher to fix. If you're having trouble with your dishwasher, this is the video for you. Whether it's not draining, making weird noises, or it's just not cleaning dishes the way it used to, this video is going to show you how to fix it yourself step by step, and it's actually easier than you might think. So to get started, we're going to need some access to the dishwasher. But the good news is, all this work can be done right inside the dishwasher. We don't need to pull anything out or disconnect anything. The only thing we are going to need is to remove the dishes from the dishwasher. Now in this model, I'm able to lift the tray right out, so I'm not going to bother to unload all these dishes. I'm just going to pick this tray right up, and we're going to set it down somewhere that they're safe so I can do the work I need to do. So the first thing you want to do if you've got any of those noise issues, dirty dishes, or it's not draining properly or even at all, you want to get into your dishwasher's primary filter, and that's what we're looking at right here. Now this one just unscrews and pops out, and most of them do. It usually is an easy thing to just remove it. You might have to look at your book, but use this as a guide to understand what happens when you take it out. Now here all I'm going to do is rinse it with water. Now yours might be pretty nasty, and that's alright, because that's the job for this filter to do. And even some of them, like this one, open up, and you can see what's going on inside. Now in here I've got a couple of things. This is just some leftover food and a label. Nothing great to look at, but this is just part of cleaning a dishwasher filter. But this is probably not the cause of your dishwasher's noise. So keep watching because we're going to take you to the second step. But you've got to make sure that you do clean out your primary filter because oftentimes if this is really clogged, you could have a problem. Your dishwasher actually has two filters, and it's usually the second filter that will cause you trouble, especially if the dishwasher is older. So what we want to do is remove this bottom spray arm for this model. Now in this one, it just pops right out. Yours will probably do the same, but don't force it if it doesn't want to come right out. So now we're looking at the bottom of the dishwasher. Now in this model, on the left here where I'm pointing to it, there's a little squeeze tab. All I need to do is push on that and pull this piece forward and now I have better access to the actual pump that pumps the dishwasher out. So on some models you might have to use a screwdriver to remove the impeller's cover, but on this one, once that cover's off, I just want to make sure that I can spin that impeller by hand, but the bigger thing you're doing here is you want to check for any debris, pieces of glass, plastic, or even a label that could be jammed in. And the only real way to do that is either with your fingers or a pair of tweezers. And you want to feel around and see what you can find in there. More than likely, if you've got a noise or something's blocked, you're going to find something. And in this case, what I'm looking at right here is a small piece of glass. Now this might have been in there for months, but it only recently started causing me problems and my symptoms were unbelievable noise when the machine was draining. It might seem hard to believe, but that little piece was causing all my noise and all my troubles because it was blocking that impeller from spinning. Now that we think everything's clear, we're just going to replace that small door. And I'm just making sure that everything lines up. You can see an O-ring there. We're just going to make sure it seats in properly. And everything on a dishwasher is all about feeling right when you're fitting pieces back together. And in this case, I'm going to push it and I'm going to hear a click. And at that point, this is right back to where I started, except I don't have the problem anymore. Now we just need to put the primary filter back in position and lock it in. With that done, we'll replace the spray arm and this is just going to snap back in place as well. Now you need to remember that most of these pieces are made to be pretty easy to service, so you might be surprised to see how easily these pieces can be removed. Now we'll just put our dish tray back in and replace it in position. And at this point we just want to test the machine to make sure it's going to work. So we'll put it through a cycle and let's hear what it sounds like. So in less than 10 minutes we learned a couple of things and we fixed our dishwasher. You need to remember that all dishwashers are going to normally have more than one level of protection for the pump. And all that means is they have two filters. So even though you're cleaning that first one, you're going to have to dig deeper if you've got a problem because that's almost always where the issue is going to be. All dishwashers aren't exactly the same, but the principles are. So spend a little bit of time, see if you can do the job yourself, and hopefully you'll save yourself from aggravation and some time.